Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another TPX Reviews. Today's review is the third flavor here, and we got Tropical Lemon. So, this one should be a good one. Usually Tropical is already good on its own. Add a little bit of lemon, and yeah, we'll see what we actually have here. So, let's jump into it and see what we have. So, yep, straight off the bat, we got the uh, silver top and tab as always. We got the date at the bottom here. Yep. Very good. And yeah, I like this design. Pretty cool. Red and yellow. Not as cool as yesterday's, where it was, you know, <laughs> I don't know, pink. And here's this cool. I like the color combo. Um, yeah, and then check out this information here. Barcode. All right, and then into the calories, starting off with 10, 0, 50, 0, 0, 0, 0, 21, 101, 4. Very nice. Product of Canada, as always. I just, and my eyes just go right to that. I apologize. That's like an instant, like, thing. Because I just, I love, like, like, Canada makes amazing cookies and stuff. Like, it's just, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's check out the scent. Hmm, okay, this kind of smells like Fruity Loops. Um, Fruit Loops? Yeah, Fruit Loops. It's not Fruity Loops, Fruit Loops. But, uh, yeah. So, so, sorry about that. It's, not like, it's like someone was having a sneeze attack outside. Weird. Anyways, so yeah, it kind of smells like Fruit Loops. Uh, or Fruit, like, either Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops. Either way. It's, the, the lemon always ends up being, like, really, really, really obvious. And yeah, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm mostly, I'm getting right here. It's, it's, the lemon is very strong, and it's very, very just candy and pleasant. I don't know, I, just, I really like it. This takes me back to, I want a bowl of Fruity Pebbles now. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay. Let's see. Let's pour it out, which, no surprise, will be colorless. So, a fun fact I'd like to break down during this video. Um, it has been actually proven to be um, safe to drink food coloring and eat food coloring. In fact, you, right here, watching this video, have already consumed, in some way, shape, or form today, food coloring. Whether it was in your food artificial natural artificial flavors and whatever whatever they they this is says natural flavors added um this is the same thing with the natural color um everything that we eat from the day we were born uh whether it was a kool-aid or gushes fruit snacks um you name it uh i remember as a kid we actually used to make green eggs and ham we used to actually take a thing of food coloring and make our eggs different color and it is completely safe. We've been drinking food coloring for as long as we've been alive. So to me, with an energy drink, you're drinking about 400, possibly 100 to 400 different ingredients that are actually bad for you. I mean, sodium is worse for you than food coloring is. So I don't want to hear absolute shit about I don't understand how food coloring or how drinks being clear is a negative, as a down, is a bad thing. It absolutely is. It is a bad thing. It's stupid that these drinks are not colored. There's no reason. Like, no reason at all. It, it's in Tootsie Rolls. Like, I have a wrapper here, right? Tootsie Roll. There's food coloring in this. Like, seriously. Everything has food coloring. So, the fact that 
it's even a thought to be like, oh, it's not, you know, it's, look at this, this is boring. It's, it's completely clear and there's no need for it. This could have a color in it. It's completely not bad for you to drink anything with coloring in it. It's, it's just, it's been FDA approved, like up the ass. So I don't understand any comments at all that would even suggest the bad thing about it not having any color. Like this absolutely sucks that there is no color here. There's no reason for it not to have color. In fact, it's so not effective. It so doesn't do anything to you that it's actually like a bad thing. There's no color in it. And that's how I look at it. So moving on, it, it's true. Like it's almost, it's stupid that there's, it's so stupid and pointless that there is no color in it that yeah it's a down vault for me it's it's there's like hundreds of other ingredients in this can that are bad for you i am trust me i'm not worried about food coloring <laughs> i want my drinks to have some color so my thumbnails look nice that's all i asked for anyways rant aside let's take a sip hmm okay this is good this reminds me of Ultra Citroen, which was one of my favorite monsters that got discontinued. Um, of course, one of my favorite flavors from Monster, discontinued. Mixed, discontinued. Chai High, discontinued. Ultra Citroen, discontinued. The list goes on and on. Um, even the original 50% Chaos and M80, discontinued. You can go on and on. All the good flavors get discontinued. Even, I, I was one of the people who liked Monster Rehab Rojo Tea and Monster Rehab Green Tea. I hate strawberry tea that they released in place of it. Both Green Tea and Rojo Tea discontinued. I don't understand Monster at all, and it's actually what started my hatred for them, as, as a just a personal side note. It's, it's like literally why I hate Monster so much. Every single thing you can think of, they've gotten rid of on me. So, it's a personal... It's a personal hatred. Just whatever. Anyways, so this is like Monster Ultra Citroen. And that's just awesome news. Because, wow. It's it's funny to me, and I feel, I feel bad that I'm using this video, that, um... This is a positive video because of actually how delicious this actually is. One of my favorite flavors so far, actually. And um, I like it, like the spoiler, the original, and the uh, and the uh, blue blue berry blast because of the cotton candy taste. Um, so it's sad that this is actually a really good drink, and I'm using it as. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of angry about a couple of things, so just had to put that out there. Um, anyways, yeah. Don't want to spoil a good video over, like, a, a good video with some with bad things, but oh well. Um, so yeah, this is like a really, really, really close Ultra Citroen or Monster Pure Zero uh, Lemonade, the yellow can, which they also discontinued. Something about the lemon drinks, they don't make it. And I don't really know why, since they are the most refreshing. I'll tell you what one I absolutely can't stand, and it is Monster Rehab Tea Lemonade. Um, since the day it came out, I've despised it. It's disgusting. It is absolutely god awful. It is just, it's just terrible. It's got like, it's a dry Arnold Palmer fucking lemonade taste and it's just gross and it's the one I've been dying for them to discontinue and replace with something else and they don't instead they I'm luck we're lucky enough that they have the peach tea still on the market and I believe orange aid is also kind of discontinued um which is also another great flavor if it's a good flavor it gets discontinued and that's just the way it goes and while it's a bad flavor it stays on the market it's just, it's been something that's been bothering me about Monster, and it's just the way it is. So, anyways, another, you know, little extra, little bonus negativity there, because why not? But, um, no, this is a very, very good uh, Ultra Citroen replacement, or Rockstar Pure Zero uh, Lemonade, and it's just, wow, I actually give this one a 10. Um, I'm a big fan of this, 
it's very refreshing and it's great for a summer day and um, yeah really digging it it's like a and it's not like um, Minute Maid lemonade, you know? Like, it really, truly is Monster Ultra Citron through and through, which is crazy. That's really awesome. Um, I can't really say anything else about it. It's just, it's that close. It's like a clone, almost. And it's just great. So I highly recommend it. I filled in, uh, you know, guys, I guess I filled you in the extra minutes in the middle of the video rather than at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, that's... That's kind of it. I wish I had more of like a skilled analysis of this, but it's really just a really good copy. Um, and it's just, it's delicious. Um, good lemon flavor, like lemon heads. And it's, uh, yeah, crisp, snappy, refreshing. Yeah, it's got all the things going for it. So yeah, 10. First 10 for Quake for me. Um, just a really good, good lemonade. Uh, even though they're, they're it's calling a tropical lemon it's really just you know like lemon heads or like sour patch kids the lemon flavor or you know but primarily because of the zero sugar and all that stuff it comes down to just being mostly an ultra citron if you didn't like ultra stone citron you won't really care for this it really is very close to it and just all of the elements are there um other than the fact it does have some isoleucine and whatever and i'm kind of sick of that ingredient but the good the good thing is because of how strong the lemon is no aftertaste uh, at least not that i can taste hmm. yeah so that pretty much wraps that up i think that's all i can really say about it it's just it's great it's it's exactly like how i remember uh for monster so good to see this one at least someone missed the flavor i think they brought it back so thanks quake appreciate it um, all right, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Besides my unhappy rants, um, very you know, I'm, I apologize for that. But it's just it had to be said. Food coloring is no, is not bad for you, and it is definitely a negative to me to not include it in a drink. I like seeing some little extra yellow. It does it change my life? No, but it does make me happy when I see it. So, just cheers me up. But uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you for the final flavor tomorrow. Thanks. Peace out.